What's up guys, Nick with 81 Hondas, working on the wife's EK Coupe, or 2000 Civic HX, whatever you want to call it. Someone tried to steal this car. They broke the ignition lock cylinder, or excuse me, that's the lock cylinder for the front driver door, and the ignition lock cylinder. And I replaced that with one from the junkyard, but the key doesn't exactly want to come out. So, like, and I think it's stuck, and you gotta push it in, right? But that doesn't work, so we gotta back it out a little bit to get it out. Kind of a bitch, but. That's what this video is going to be, how to, how to replace your ignition lock cylinder and your door lock cylinders and your trunk lock cylinder on a 96 to 2000 Honda Civic. First thing you're going to want to do is take off your steering wheel cover column, which is usually just three screws, one here, one here, one here. Give me one sec, I'll get those removed. Alright, and then... Bottom cover's pulled off, pull the top one out, and that's simple. So, on this one particularly, I've replaced this twice now. My first time, I just put little 12 millimeter bolts right here and here, these two spots. And that holds the ignition lock cylinder into place. So, on yours, you'll have, if, if it's stock, it'll have rivets. And the best way to get those rivets out there is you take a flathead. Press it up against the side of the top of the rivet and then just kind of hammer it until it starts to spin. Then you grab some needle nose and continue to spin it from there. Luckily, this kit that I ordered. Ah, uh, there goes all the stuff. Came with. Top rivet bolts, so I'll tighten those on there as tight, and then the tops of them will snap off. Um, okay, I'll grab some tools, and we'll get back right. To and to get the, to the plugs, I'm gonna have to remove Total of three screws. One there. One down here. And one on the side. Hard to see, sorry. Uh, don't lose your screws. I kind of just placed mine on the floor on that black top mat there. And then I'll lose one. Okay, and then assuming we got this one out all the way, yeah, we did. Okay, we're going to drop that down. If you have an EX or HX, you'll have power mirrors. Stop switch there. The EX will also have a sunroof switch plug right there. And then, you're going to want to go for these brown plugs right here. Just 
push them in. Push in that little tab there, and those pop out. And there's one. Grab the wire, follow it up. In the fuse box. So that's that. And then I'm going to take off these bolts that I put there. All right, so once you've got those bolts removed, this will just kind of hang down. And then, if it's never been replaced before, there will be zip ties. This one's been replaced, so I'm just gonna pull the wires through like that. And there we have the old ignition switch and the steering wheel lock, wheel lock. I got a couple things transferred over. Um, the new one doesn't have this piece or that piece or that piece. So give me a second. I'm going to transfer those over and I'll get back to it. All right. So after you struggle to get the harness together, you grab your bracket. Okay. Got the keys. See your keys. So we're just going to feed the wires through this little portion of the steering wheel here. Okay, so I'll just let your wires hang. Move all the old stuff out of the way. And what you're gonna do is if you can, I'm gonna struggle a little bit. But. Back there, I'll pause videos and edit it in during editing, but right there. Okay, so you got this done. There's a new bracket. Okay, new bracket and those rivet studs right there. One thing you want to do is turn the steering wheel and make sure it locks. That way you know you lined up everything properly. Okay, and then you're just going to... Crank everything until the tops of these pop off. You should be left with these two little studs. And some rivets. And then you want to make sure, I already, I already made sure that it locks, we're good. Okay, so that's tight, that's good. This will lock if I do that. And it locks really good, so you gotta rotate the wheel to unlock it. Okay, and then I'm gonna connect these really quick. This one. There's that. <clears throat> 
but I did it wrong, so I'm disconnected again. Feed it through back there. One second. Okay, so there's that one. <clears throat> this one goes up into the fuse box. And it plugs in right here. Let's see if you can see that. No, stop it. Plugs into that one right there. That one. I can't. Up here. So you just gotta like that <clears throat> that's all good and to verify perfect and that's how you replace an ignition switch all right moving on to the doors so you're gonna take this off, there's a screw that goes right there on that, and then there's a screw that goes in the middle. There's also another screw there. Because the last time I put this together, I didn't do it right, but might be because I hate these little panels more than anything. Uh, eight mil, seven mil there. And the same there. So, I'm pretty sure there's seven mils on these because I did these last, but yeah. Alright, so I'm going to remove this speaker real quick. So with the door panel off, I need to have power over the window. So plug in the switch. Okay. So on this, there is two 10 mils. One, two. So give me a second. Okay, let me uh, get that out real quick in just a second. Two. There it is. So now, this might be difficult for other people because they haven't done this before. 
Um, this door handle has been removed probably third, three, four times now. So that's pushed out so I can get to the back of it. And then this, they're color coordinated. This one's got a green lock switch on the arm. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So there's the old, old lock cylinder. As you can see, they smashed it up. But I'm gonna have to do some work on this because, yeah, it, the locking mechanism needs to be replaced. So uh, I'll show you how to do that as soon as I take the handle off the rest of the way. Okay, so I said I don't need to take the handle off the rest of the way. Um, as you see, there's the lock spring right there. Just kind of pry it off. Uh, you might need a flathead. But yeah, this is the lock spring, this piece right here. Uh, I'm going to get that off real quick and then I'll show you what to do next. Off, you just press this in, it only fits one way, and it goes out to the thing. And you're just going to take your lock spring, reattach it, and that should be locked into place. Again, this might be a little difficult for some people, especially putting that back into place. Put that in. I'm going to put the bolts back in now. Let me get those started and then I'll show you. Finish tightening these down. Don't want to get them too tight. Just nice and snug. Okay, and then if you can see in there, see that yellow pin? You're going to take your door lock. If you can get it. <laughs> Try going from underneath here. I'm just gonna push that out of the way. As soon as you get that spring in, just push it. Make sure it's snug. Should be able to just push this yellow piece here and that locks it into place. And that is good. And then just to verify, before you put the panel back on, I suggest you verify. Shut the door, make sure it opens, okay, key in, it locks, it unlocks, awesome, and then I'll put this door panel back together and we'll start on the next side, but that's pretty self-explanatory, it's the same on both sides, you just remove the door handle, lock cylinder, and put the new lock cylinder in, so... I'll show you how to do the trunk next, actually, so we can just get that out of the way. So moving on to the trunk. This one's not so de so bad. Um, it's right there, and then on the inside, it's right there. And then, what most people don't know is that there is actually a screw in here. So what I'm going to do is... We have to remove this entire back piece here. It's going to be two, three, three screws. And then there's that one and that one. So I'll remove that and I'll show you. Okay, so I lied. Don't have to take that off. Um, it's actually pretty simple. You just feed it through. But 
There's the old one. Got the new one into place here. Again, it only fit one way. camera in the right spot. And once you bolt it down it'll sit flat. So yeah, it's just the one 10 millimeter bolt and you kind of have to twist it a little bit to get it out. Make sure it's tight. Arms in. It looks like when it's done, maybe there, there it is. Move everything out of the way. Trunk. Set your tools on top of the trunk. Don't care about your paint. Kind of care about the paint because it's not my car, it's my life's car, but whatever. Key in, twist. There goes all my tools because I'm an idiot. Right under the window. Set those out square so that you're not making a mess. Or just drop them on the floor like me. Key in. Good. Just check it a couple times. Okay. So that's how you do a door, ignition switch, and a trunk lock. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, or follow. Um, yeah, this is going to be pretty cut up, but. But thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been how to install how to install. Oh, okay, I'll wait. Thank you. How to install and replace a ignition lock cylinder, door lock cylinder, and ignition switch and lock cylinder, excuse me, door lock cylinder and trunk lock cylinder. If you have any questions, please mention them in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for more content. If you guys want to see more stuff on these, uh, I'm currently working on this one constantly, and I'm going to be doing some major work on this uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Don't know if I'll record, but yeah. So yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.